Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a new user within Windows without going through a Microsoft account. I'm actually going to show you two ways. It's actually very simple. So fire up your Windows. Let's get started. So we click on the start button here and we just simply go to users and open this up. It seems pretty simple here. Add another user. So we're going to click add an account. But what happens is Microsoft wants to put their nose into everybody's business again. Um, this is the way they like to do it now. They want everything to sync up, which I guess for some things that's fine. But I'm one of them guys. I don't like Microsoft's accounts. Microsoft accounts. I just want to use a local account. Um, so if you have a Microsoft account and you want to log in this way, that is up to you. But if you want a local account, here's two ways. So the first thing you get to this page, all you have to do is simply click here. I don't have this person sign in information. And then you'll get this little pop up thing here that you can give them one, basically create a Microsoft account for them. Or you can click here, add a user without a Microsoft account. Now it'll give you the thing that says, hey, we really recommend this. If you have younger people in the house, teenagers, et cetera, et cetera, for these reasons. Um, but you don't have to pay attention to that. Uh, so at this point, you just simply give it a name and put in a password. And I think you can actually bypass the password too. Wouldn't recommend that, but give a name and password and click next. And that will set up a local account for you. Now I'm going to go over another way to do it here. Go ahead and cancel out of this. If we click on our start button and we're going to go to computer management. There we go. And in my opinion, it's a little bit easier in here. Let's open up computer management. We're going to pay attention here to local users and groups and then just users. As you can see, my user is in there. But if we want to create a new, we simply right click new user. Uh, let's just do uh, let's call this Sam test. Uh, full name Sam. Give it a uh, a description you really don't actually have to give it a description either um, and then you create a password so I'm just going to use password because this is a temp account and I will be deleting it password and you can give this the option too um, of having the user change the password at the login and what that is good for is you know you're just creating them account giving them a temporary password and then when they log in it prompts them to change the password so you don't always have their password. Um, so that's uh, good in most cases. I'm not going to do that only because this is just a test account. Uh, but there's some other options that you guys can see in here too. You can choose that. If you uncheck that, you can select it to where user cannot change their password. Password never expires. Or you can completely disable their account. So that all this stuff's for a different video. But um, we're just going to go ahead with creating the account. Once you have all the info in, hit create, and then you can close it out. And as you see right away, the account is right here. That is the test account. So you can actually like log out of this account and log back into that one as a local user with the account that we just created. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is a simple way to create a local user without going through a Microsoft account. If this helped you out, give me a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button for future content. Thanks, guys.